The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Hello, I'm Carl Seidel, host of The People's View. The People's View is a show sponsored by the Nashua Republican City Committee. Uh, the committee meets uh, every second Thursday at the Crown Plaza. And if you want to contact us, we have a website, nashuagop.org. And at the end of the uh, show, you'll see some contact phone numbers or email addresses that you may want to uh, send us your comments and uh, uh, recommendations. Thank you for listening in. Welcome to The People's View, a program dedicated to discussing local, state, and national issues and their effect on the American people. The People's View provides a platform for state representatives and national figures to present their viewpoint. Whether it's social, economic, or financial topics, you'll hear it on The People's View. Hello. Today we have David Fredette, who is uh, going for county treasurer. David, you're, um, you've been treasurer of the city and tax co uh, collector for the city of Nashua for right. a while, yes. and you were treasurer for the county uh, several years ago. That's right. I, uh, this would be my 10th year as the county treasurer, although not consecutively. Wow. Um, I had a break in service there, but uh, yes, it would be my 10th year. Well, I think you ought to be proud about what you did the first time around then. I, I know uh, they still talk about how you built up the uh, reserve for the county, which proved very, very useful over the last uh, five or six years, I that's, believe. That's right. When I was first uh, elected to the county position, their fund balance, or a lot of people would call it a rainy day fund, mm -hmm. was pretty small. And back then, over the years, we were able to build it up to $25 million plus. Mm. And that, that served the county very well since the economy went down, because when the economy went down, revenues went down, and they were able to dip into that fund over the years to help keep the tax rate low. Right. I know uh, that when I served in the county and, and also on the, uh, uh, finance, uh, the executive council, uh, that uh, we were able to keep the flat rate on the taxes by just using up some of that. Right. A lot of it's been used up by now. I, I think that they're uh, raising the uh, taxes and everything, so they need somebody like you back in uh -huh. there to build up the fund again. Well, there's, um, <coughs> there isn't as much left in there as there was originally, but uh, yes, there were quite a few years that we had um, very small increases, and a couple of years I think that they were actually flat. Yeah. So. Um, but the last few years, there have been increases, although small. But, um, of course, it's the county, like the city, has the same challenges when it comes to the increase of costs, when it comes to salaries and benefits, insurance. Um, you know, as maybe not everybody knows, but Hillsborough County is the largest county in the state. Mm -hmm. There are 10 counties, and uh, Hillsborough's budget is about $88 million. And we raise about $48 million in property taxes. Mm. So when people get their property tax bills, I know sometimes they don't really look at it too closely, but there are actually four tax rates on the bill. Mm -hmm. um, there's the city or town rate, there's two school rates, and then there's a county rate. Mm -hmm. Of course, the county is much lower than the rest, but uh, I think in Nashville it's about a dollar, dollar one, a dollar two per thousand mm -hmm. for the county mm -hmm. rate. But um, it has challenges just like the city, but like I said, it is a big county and it, it raises a lot of money not using property taxes. It has uh, a lot of revenue through the Register of Deeds, as mm -hmm. you know, the nursing home, um, the jail, all of them have um, pretty have good revenue stream streams. Income. Yes, yeah. yeah. Plus, I think the county makes money from rental of their facilities as much as they can. Mm -hmm. um, they've, done, they've been very proactive in that field. So, But the treasurer really just plays a small part. There's three commissioners in the county, of which one is from Nash or Sandra mm -hmm. and. Um, the treasurer really works closely with them and the business office. There is a business office of four full-time employees, mm -hmm. so the treasurer really works with the business office and, of course, with the banks that they do business with. 
Well, yeah, that was one thing I think that helped you build it up at that time. The interest rate was a little bit higher than it is today. The interest rates, and that goes for the city too, yeah. you know, we could earn decent revenue for the county or for the city, but as everybody knows now, the interest rates are, are horribly low. They've been low the longest it's ever been. Mm -hmm. um, and it doesn't look like they're going to go up too much in the next year. So um, everybody, every community has lost revenue from interest income. But um, the, the good thing about working for the city as city treasurer, tax collector, and, you know, somebody has to do the tax collection, <laughs> unfortunately or fortunately. But um, you have to really build up relationships with banks. So mm -hmm. um, it kind of fits. It's... If I was to have any other little part-time job, it's about the best job you could get because it really fits in very well I with imagine, what I do. Yeah, you have a lot of similarities there. Yes. And I know uh, that uh, the way banks work with uh, large customers is uh, that uh, if you keep so much in, you uh, get some services free or at low, lower cost than normal. Um, you get some services free. Um, the only problem is a lot of people have a hard time understanding it, but when you invest your money in the banks, it's not just like a regular retail customer mm -hmm. that the money is backed by the FDIC. Um, our money has to be backed by uh, U.S. securities, and there's a cost for that, but you need to have that because you need to make sure your money is safe 100%. Mm -hmm. You can't put the county money or the city money in the stocks, equities. You just can't do that the risk is too high that you would lose principal. So you have to have that money backed in the bank. So certain times of the year, the county will have 65 or $70 million cash. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So working with the business office, we, we develop a cash flow plan every year and determine how much we can save for what periods of time. Because of course, the longer you can put something in the bank, the more interest you'll earn. So we do that every year. Um, we do that usually to January because our tax bills are due in the county in December. Mm -hmm. And um, that determines how much we can put in. And then I go around and uh, get informal bids from different banks on the rates we can get. Mm -hmm. And that's what we do. And we do basically the same thing almost for the city, um, just on a larger scale. Yeah, I imagine it's yeah, quite it's, a bit larger. It's a lot larger, yes. Uh -huh. But uh, I mean, like I said, the county's budget is about $88 million. The city's budget's about $300 million when you add everything together. So it's a lot bigger. Yeah, I remember that the county had like three or four different accounts, which they had to balance somehow. Right. They, um, they still do. Like they have an accounts payable and a payroll mm -hmm. and a regular treasurer's account versus I think the city has much more than that. But uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it, it is very similar. And I do enjoy working with the business office. And, of course, county government is very unique. A lot of people don't know much about it. So whenever people find out that I am involved, I try to explain exactly what goes on at the county. But you know both the, from your experience and everything, uh, I think uh, it's good to have a person in that office who has done mm -hmm. it before and who's doing somewhat similar work right. for, uh, for the well, city. Yeah, that's like I said, it's a, it, was a, it was a good, I didn't really need any on-the-job training <laughs> compared to other people over the years. You know, I just, it's something very similar to what I do now. So yeah. uh, we have to send out just like in the, Nat the city of Nashville, the county has to send out its tax bills once a year to all the mm -hmm. communities. Now there are 29 towns in the county and two cities, Nashville and Manchester. So each one gets a bill. Actually, they'll probably be going out next week. Oh, how nice. And, <laughs> <laughs> and they're due on the 17th of December uh -huh. by state law. And um, usually we get everything on the 16th or the 17th, which is how it works. So, um, and like I say, you know, the towns and cities really have no choice. They have to pay that, and it's all one lump sum. Mm. So I know the city of Nashville's county tax bill is about uh, $9.9 .9 million. Mm. I think Manchester is around 10.4, 10.5. Mm -hmm. And, of course, all the other towns are all different, you know, $3 million down to, you know, maybe a half a million. We have some very, we have a few very small towns in Hillsborough mm -hmm. County including Windsor. I don't know if anybody's ever heard of that, but it's Windsor. a small town oh. out towards um, Peterborough. Oh, Very okay. small town. I think there's about 120 voters in the town. Oh, So <laughs> they have the smallest bill. <laughs> well, it's not like some of the towns way up north <laughs> with only half a, do yeah, a couple well, dozen. We are fortunate, Hillsborough. Out of the 10 counties, Hillsborough and 
Rockingham are considered to be pretty wealthy counties. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of tax base. When you go up north to some of those smaller counties, uh, they actually are hurt and compared mm -hmm. to down here. They've never had the chance to build a fund balance like that. One of those fun, uh, advantages of having the fund balance is you don't have to borrow money during the year mm -hmm. to pay your bills. Mm -hmm. Well, up north, a lot of the counties still so, have to yeah. do that. And then there's a cost to do that. You have mm -hmm. to pay interest on whatever you borrow. Mm -hmm. But the Hillsville hasn't had to borrow money in 15 plus years. Yeah. So that's been really good. And actually, Hillsborough has no debt at all, mm -hmm. which is pretty Even unique. Good. Yeah, um, I'm sure one day they'll have to do something with one of the bigger buildings they own, but um, they haven't had debt for at least, I think the last payment on the jail was probably 10 years ago. Oh, really? So mm -hmm. in Manchester, the Valley Street Jail, yeah. that, that was a, a bonded mm -hmm. project, 20-year bond. So, yeah, I think it was at least uh, 10 years ago it was paid off. Mm. So um, we were very fortunate that way, too. The county does provide services that affect people that live here, especially, in my point of view, the nursing home. They have an excellent nursing home. Yes, they do. In Gosstown. I was very And actually, my grandmother was there for the last five years of her life and mm. got excellent care there. Yeah. Um, Clean, nice. It's, it's a beautiful nurse. Food's home good, too. The food's good. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I, never, I don't think I ever ate there. No, but, we, uh, would, we would always have a meeting during budget oh, time okay. over there, and they served yeah. us the lunch. But, um, and, of course, we all need it. We have a, a very large jail in Manchester. Um, we have the old jail in Gosstown that we rent out to the state for women. Mm -hmm. But, as you know, that's the that's gonna state's go. building a new prison, yeah. and so those, those women will be moving so now the county is trying to determine what they're going to do with the building because mm -hmm. that's good revenue for us, and I don't think they would like. I don't think they want to lose it. So, so do you get involved in something like that in the negotiations? Uh... No, really. What happens? It's really the commissioners that push that, okay. and of course, as you know, there's a county administrator, yeah. similar to a town Very or a good. city administrator, yeah. and um, they he would be the lead that will get involved with that, trying to work with the state and trying to the town or whatever they have to do to see if what they can do with the building. So but if they had to take out a bond, would you get involved? Yes. Okay. One of the duties of the of the treasurer is to sell the bond, just mm -hmm. like the city of Nashua sells bonds. Mm -hmm. Currently, they've been selling almost every year now. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of school projects, uh, the Broad Street Parkway. So once a year, I am selling bonds for the city. Uh, the, if the county needed that, I would be the one Involved that in. administers that, yes. And oh. it's, uh, again, it's a, something I'm very familiar with. I wouldn't have to be trained on how to do oh, no, it. That's, so, that's but important they don't thing. have that right now. But yeah. uh, it's, um, it, there's quite a bit to it. It's, uh, you know, you have to sell on the open market and you want to get the, the lowest rate you can mm -hmm. to save money. Mm. And of course, you have to have a, a good bond rate. And uh, well, they have a good bond rating, don't they? I mean, well, of... Hillsborough hasn't really been rated in a while because they have no debt. Uh, uh, when they have to sell, they all have to go out yeah. and get their ratings updated. Nashua has excellent ratings. We have yeah. a AAA bond rating from Fitch, mm -hmm. and um, that's the last three years. All bond, the bonds we've sold, they were all under three percent. No. Uh, one, I think one year was like 2.3, another year was 2.6. Mm -hmm. So I think those times, although even still today, it's it's still very good. So hopefully when we sell in the spring, you, we'll get some good rates then because mm -hmm. the lower it is, the better the better off we are over the 20-year over the period. Well, with a county as large as Hillsborough, I mean physically large, mm -hmm. well, as people, uh, your campaigning must be difficult. It's very difficult. <laughs> um it's 29 towns, like I say, right. and two cities. So you have to try to go to events throughout the county to at least meet people and get, uh -huh. so they get to know you. And um, this year I've done quite a bit of it because I actually had a primary race, which I've never had before. Uh -huh. So that was a challenge. But uh, I got to meet a lot of people and really get to see some of the really nice towns in the in the county, like New Boston. I don't know if you've ever oh, been. Oh, yeah, I've been there. New it's Boston nice, has got to be one of the town. nicest towns yeah. in the county, I think. And wonderful, beautiful people there, so friendly. Mm -hmm. um, but I've gone to Hancock, you know, a lot of smaller towns yeah. too, Hancock, Hillsboro, um, you know, a lot Hancock's of them like nice that. too. Yeah, they're all, oh, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. a different, it's such a different way of life compared mm -hmm. 
natural. Mm -hmm. You don't realize it till you go there. <laughs> you know, yeah. they, their concerns are so much different than ours. You uh, know, yeah. Their, yeah. their talk is bears and <laughs> things like that. Where we have a completely different. Well, I don't know. Bears are coming in the town. Yeah, I heard that, but they have a lot more of it. I'll say. I'll tell you off there. I do. But I have met a lot of people, and it is, and I do enjoy. That's always the best part. Mm -hmm. um, it's just now I'm not. I'm not 25 years old anymore. That uh, when you go out at night, you get home late. It's you know you're a lot it tired. It wears on you. You're going through that, and yeah. I don't think people realize how much campaigning uh, wears you down a lot. Yeah, well, it does. I mean, and you're um, trying to meet the people. It's nice if you can get crowds someplace, but mm -hmm. you got to go knocking on some doors too. Yeah. Oh, I went to some events that had you know 10 people oh, at, yeah. and others had 80. You know, you really don't know till you get there. That's but, right. Um, like I said, they've all been very, very friendly and, and kind and helpful. I've never, had, like I said, never had a primary, so that I really got out a lot more than I would normally do. But uh, this week I was in Manchester. One night I was in Bedford. Mm. Today I'm doing my interview. Thank you for having me yeah. too. Mm. Um, I appreciate it very You're much. Welcome. So it is, it is interesting. Uh, of course, I. I got to see uh, Dennis Hogan everywhere. He's running for county That's attorney, and he's right. every function I was basically went to. He certainly was there. Actually, once a few times we rode together because uh -huh. sometimes they're kind of a long ride. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, and I would see um, other people on the campaign trade too. Mm -hmm. People running for senate and governor and that kind of stuff. So it was, it's been interesting. I know there's a few weeks left, and uh, I'll be out there wherever I can. Well, we try <laughs> to help out because I know how hard it is for you uh, people that are doing the county. Uh, mm -hmm. to uh, get your name out there, to get people to know you, what, you, what your experience was, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So we've interviewed uh, Sandra Zine for commissioner and uh, mm -hmm. Dennis for uh, county treasurer and Pam Cockham for the registered deeds. So hopefully mm -hmm. uh, people, will, at least in Nashua, will get to know you a little bit better. And well, one thing, I think I'm fairly well known in Nashua <laughs> compared to most other communities. Well, it's because I was born and raised in Nashua, went to school uh, here, of course, still here. Have worked for the city for quite a few years, and I was actually a, an alderman many years ago oh, in the city. Wow. I had another good. lifetime, but I was an alderman, and I enjoyed all of that. So, uh -huh. and I've um, done quite a bit working for the city. I, I worked in public works at one time. And, uh huh. But I've been on the finance side for quite a few years. So, well, I know you uh, had a couple of job hats on uh, a couple of years ago when they didn't have somebody. Well, in public I was works. Um, I was the interim public oh. works director for about right. nine months back in 2008. Yeah, and then uh, a, a few months for CFO until we hired a new CFO. So you you really handle a lot of things. A lot of the yeah, I don't know how things. I do it sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> But anyways, um, it's it's like I said, it's 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 worked out well. I hope everything works out well for you. And uh, yeah. if uh, people want to contact you, uh, we uh, put your name up there on the screen so they know who to call if they have questions mm -hmm. or if they want to offer a donation for your. Because uh, no, I know these things can get kind of expensive. Too. Yeah, I try to. Well, you know, you know how it is, signs and ads mm -hmm. and everything. But uh, I, I, I do have a, on my web pages, you can get right onto my home email and okay. if you, and people are good. interested, you can send me a question or something. Very good. Well, right. thank you very much. We've run out of time. Okay, thank so, you. Thank you again. Yep. Seating program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.